Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, guys. Mm. You hear me? Good evening, Maxim. You hear? Hello. Hello, hello. Can you guys hear me? Good evening, teacher. Can you hear me, guys? Because yes, 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 I can hear you. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. So, welcome, guys, once again to another week. Another class, something, something to learn, something else to learn. So um, thank you so much for your punctuality, for always being on time. That is, as I always tell you, that shows part of your responsibility, showing up on time. And uh, well, I do appreciate that, okay? So thank you very much for that. Uh, before we start, I would like to know if you guys have any question regarding to anything, I mean the platform or something that you would like me to tell you or answer about anything. So I would like to know if you guys have any question before we start with today's topic. No? I'll teach you. No, okay. Um, uh, well, so we're going to start with today's topic or today's class, guys. And before we start with that, as usual, I will ask you some questions regarding to the last topic we saw. So what was the last topic about, guys? Who can tell me? What was the last topic about? And W question. WH questions. Okay. So when I say something like how far, what am I talking about? When I say something like that, what's that? What am I talking about? About distance. About this. Very good. So if I ask the question, how far is the capital from no well how far is the savior of the world from the center of san salvador how would you answer to that question maximo four kilometers okay four kilometers very good if i ask you the question like uh how long what am I talking about if I say how long? What's that? Why do I use that question for? How long? Time. 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 What else? Can I use it for something else or just for time? Can I use it for something else, guys, or just for time? When I say how long? About space, teacher. About space and time. Okay, what about if I say how come? What does that mean? Or how do I use that for? Why do I use that for? This question for why? Like why? If I say, um, what else? How much? Why do I have to use that? In quanto I think. Okay, very good. In how many? Countable, Countable nouns. Countable nouns, very good. So to, uh, we are going to be focusing a little bit more in the, in the simple past. I'm pretty sure that you have already heard about it, 
or that you actually uh, speak in that way, or you usually use the simple past. But today we're going to learn rules and pronunciation. Because as I told you since the beginning of the module, this module we are going to be focusing on pronunciation. It's very important that you pronunciate correctly or that you uh, that you know how to say things in the right way, okay? So today we're going to learn about the simple past. I would like to know if you all can see the slide. Can you all see it? Can you see it? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Perfect. So as you can see there, today we're going to talk about the simple past and we are going to learn. I can see. Uh, I'm sorry, Luis, what did you say? I didn't, I didn't listen to what you said. It's it's like an interference there. Well, so yeah, it sounds like you have uh, you have issues with the connection right there. So uh, today we're going to learn rules. We're going to learn um, pronunciation as well. And uh, we're going to try to understand how do we have to use simple past. So uh, let me see, um, Sonia, can you help me, Sonia, reading this part? Good evening. Good evening. We use the simple past to express the idea that an action starts and finishes at the specific time in the past. Okay, so it says that we use the simple past to express the idea of an action that started and finished at a specific time in the past. So as you can see here, we have past and past. So let's move on. Let me see, um, Rosemary, would you like to help me reading this part? What are some common time expression used of which the past tense are? Okay, thank you very much. There's some time expressions, guys, that are going to help us to understand that we're talking about the past. Which are they? We have an expression or a time expression like, let me check, yesterday, we have last month, we have, uh, I don't know why they make that sound, like last year and ago, oh. ago. So we have last year, last month, yesterday and ago. Those questions are going to help you to understand every single time that you see those expressions, it's because we're talking about the past. Why do we use the past? It is an action that we started in, the, in a certain period of the time, in the past, obviously, and we finished that action in the past, okay? Una acción que iniciamos en el pasado y terminamos en el pasado. We're not repeating that action anymore. So it's that action that we just started and finished it there, okay? So those time expressions are going to help us to understand that we're talking about the past. Here, we can see some examples. We have one there that says, I saw Maria yesterday. Can someone tell me what is the uh, infinitive or the present tense of this word or, or this verb? She. She. She, the verb she. So the past tense of the verb she is saw. 
I saw Maria yesterday. So as you can see here, we are obviously using a time expression. We're saying yesterday. I saw it yesterday and I finished that auction there yesterday. So last Friday, the students took their spelling and vocabulary tests. So what is the present or the infinitive of this verb took? Take. 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 Excellent. Very good. We have here, they got married two years ago. They got married two years ago. What is the present or the infinitive form of the verb got? Get. Get. Excellent. So one, one, uh, one more time. These sections are over. It means finished. Okay. So our actions that we will probably repeat in the future, but the action that I saw just, for example, on the first one, if I say I saw Maria yesterday, I will probably see her tomorrow, but the action that I saw her yesterday is already finished. I don't know if you understand that. Is it, is it clear till now? Yes, teacher. Cool. So let's move on. Here we have, how do we form the simple past tense? It's very important to understand that in the simple past, we have two type of verbs. Which are they? They are the regular and irregular verbs. Okay, let me see. Regular and irregular verbs. So today we are going to just have a review about regular and irregular verbs because tomorrow we are going to be focusing in on either regular or irregular, okay? So tomorrow we are going to learn rules in pronunciation and how to form the regular and irregular part of the verbs. But today is going to be just an overview so you can understand a little bit before going to the main thing, okay? So are you all understanding? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes, teacher. cool. So let me see. We have, look at these verbs, and here we have. How do we know that one verb is regular and the other one is irregular? Something very similar that the regular verbs have is that the regular verbs will always finish in ed at the end, ed. But the irregular verbs, they do never, they never actually end in ed. Why? Because they have it their own form of the past tense. For example, what is the present or the infinitive of this verb right here? Tish, tish. Yes, what about, I mean, these ones are very easy. What about the past, I mean, the present or the infinitive of this verb here? Give. Give, what about this one? Become. Become, and this one? Do. Do, excellent. So now I will need uh, everyone's participation in this part because I want to listen the way you pronunciate those verbs. And after you all pronunciate them, I will pronunciate myself and you will notice or you will listen to your pronunciation to verify if you pronunciate them correctly or not. So I will give you a number and Remember your number, okay? So the first one is going to be Luis, you are going to be the number one. Cecilia Rivas, you are going to be the number two. Claudia, you are going to be number three. Juan Cruz, number four. Patricia Rodriguez, number five. Fatima Guardado, number six. 
Carlos Antonio, number seven. Elizabeth Giron, number eight. Nancy Gutierrez, number nine. Nancy Maldonado, number 10. Vilma Melendez, 11. Maximo, 12. Sonia, 13. And Rosemary, 14. So you already know your numbers, so go ahead. What I want you to do is just pronunciate these verbs that we have right here. Just this list, okay? Go ahead, please. Okay, okay. Teacher, eh, hasta hace poquito lo, lo he podido escuchar de nuevo porque el inter me está fallando y, y me, sal, me sacó de la clase. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, don't worry about it. So let me see. So let's go with number two then. Who is number two? Good evening. Eh, teacher, debo leerlos todos. Es que, perdón, yo voy entrando porque vengo de la calle, pero es, debo leer todos los verbos. Yeah, read them all. I just want to listen to your pronunciation. Okay. Eh, bueno, como voy entrando, no sé si lo voy a decir mal, no los he escuchado. Vamos a ver. Okay. Taut, mm -hmm. Walker, Studio, Studio, Gave, Become, Cried, Live. Did. Okay, thank you very much. Who is number three? Number three. Hello, who is number three, guys? You already forget your number? Number three? Well, if number three is not there, so let's go with number four. How Walker, father, they became, cried, lived, did. Okay, thank you very much. Number five. How walk, study, give, became, cried, live, did. Thank you very much. Number six. Count, walk, study, give, give, uh, become, cry, live, and did. Thank you very much. The next one. Who got number seven? Stop. Walk, study, gain, become, feed, live, deal. Thank you very much. Who got number seven, uh, number eight? I'm sorry. Who got number eight? Okay, if number eight is not there, let's go with number nine. Okay, teacher. Tao, Walker, Studio, Girl, Become, Cry, Livo, Deal. Thank you very much. Number 10. Tao, Walker, Studied, Gave, Become, Cry, Live, Deal. Thank you very much. 11. Taught, walked, started, gave, became, cried, lived, did. Thank you very much. 12. Taught, walked, started, gave, became, cried, lived, did. Thank you very much. 13. Taught, walked, Study, give, become, cry, live, did. And the last one, 14. Touch, walk, study, get, become, cry, life, 
did. Thank you very much, Rosemary. So let me tell you guys that the majority of you or some of you pronounce these verbs from here to here, some of you pronounce them like there, like 50-50. So now let's go one by one. And let me try to write here something. This one, the first one, we pronounce it as taught. Taught, okay? Second one. Top, top. Pronouncing like, like that, walked, walked. So we make the K and T sound at the end. Walked, walked. That's the way we say it. Then the next one, it's really easy. That one is not that complicated because we just say studied. We just make the sound of the letter D at the end. Studied, studied. Then we say gave, became, cried with the sound of the letter D at the end, cried, lived, and did, okay? So remember, taught, walked, studied, gave, became, cried, lived, and did, okay? So for the next time, if you see that verb, the first one, this one, do not eh, never pronounce it like taut, like taut. La mayoría siempre se confunde y como ve que está una tea dicen taut. No, in English we say taut, okay? Taut, walked. This pronunciation of this one right here, walked. That's very, very important. So any questions so far, guys? So far, so good. Uh, now, let's see a brief overview about regular verbs. How do we identify a regular verb? Very easy. As it says there, regular verbs are verbs that end with ed. Okay? We have the simple form. We have walk. Walked, study, studied, cry, cried, leave, lived, and that's it. So as you can see, it's very, very easy to identify a regular verb. Why? Something that you have to keep in mind is that a regular verb will always end in an ed form. Always ed, 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 and ed. Obviously, there's some rules. As I said, there's some rules that we are going to learn tomorrow, not today. Because today is just an overview for you to get like to know like the general information about them and to get the introduction to the past tense, okay? So let's move on and let's see what else do we have. Now, we have the irregular verbs. So how do I identify an irregular verb? Irregular verb are verbs that end, let me see, they don't have uh, a form to end. Why? As I told you before, irregular verbs, they have their own form, okay? So it means that in present, they have one form, in past, they have another form, and they have a different form, okay? So let's see. Some irregular verbs have a vowel change in the past. Let's see. We have become, if you see, in the past, became, give, gave, drive, drove, 
forget, forgot. As you can see, it's just a simple letter, a simple vowel that makes the difference from the simple present or the simple form to the past tense. All right. So uh, do you guys know the meaning of these verbs that we have right here? Do you know what they mean? Yes, teacher. Cool. So let me see. Uh, I will need four volunteers or five volunteers who would like to make the pronunciation of the simple form and the past tense. Volunteers. I, I won't say a name. I would like volunteers. Maximo. Okay, Maximo. Thank you very much. Let's go. The simple form and the past tense. Come, became. Give, gave. Drive, drove. Forget, forgot. Thank you very much. Elizabeth, thank you very much. Let's go. Become, became. Give, gave. Forget, forgot. For, Thank you very forgot. much. Forgot. Forgot. Thank you. Now, Carlos Antonio. Because, became. Mm -hmm. Give me, gave, gold. No, give, gave. G Give, gay, perdón. Drive, drum, we. Drum. Forget, for, 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 forget. No, forget, forgot. For, forget, forgot. Thank you very much. Now, Nancy Thank Maldonado. You. Thank you. Let's go. Become, became. Give, gave. Drive, draw. Forget, forgot. Thank you very much. Forget, that, I, that I want you to be clear when you pronounce these ones is that you make the letter, uh, the sound of the letter B a little bit more stressed, like give, gave, okay? Give, gave. So in that, in that way, you make clear the sound of the letter B. All right. Thank you very much for those who participated. So uh, I would like to know, is there any questions so far? Or are we clear with the information that we just saw? Yes. Okay, okay yes, perfect. Sir. So let's move on. We have another difference, guys, with the irregular verbs. We have uh, some others here. Just let me show you the examples here. We have a simple, that is teach, taught, read, brought, leave, left, hear, heard, I, what. Okay. Remember, most of the time, these ones like here will sound like taught, brought, left, heard, bought, okay? So I will see another volunteers who would like to pay in the pronunciation of those verbs. Teach, touch. Who would like to do that? Brown. Brown. Leave, left, her, her, buy, bought. Okay, thank you, Carlos. Someone else? Someone else would like to participate? Volunteers, okay. okay. Teach, taught, bring, brought, leave, left, hear, heard, buy, bought. Okay, this one we don't say boat, we say bought. Okay. Cecilia, go ahead. Okay. Teach, taught, okay. bring, yeah. brought. Okay, say, say, say this one again. We don't say taught. We say taught. 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 Uh -huh. taught. 
Each thought. Breathe, brought, leave, okay. left. This one, um, I'm sorry for interrupting you. This one, we don't say brought. We say brought. 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 Okay. Brought. Leave, okay. left. Her. No, no. here. Uh -huh. Here, her. Okay, perfect. By, bought. Bought. Excellent. Thank you very much. Fatima. Thank you. Teach, taught, bring, brought, mm -hmm. live, left, here, here, buy, and bought. Bought. Okay. Bought. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, let's be careful with this one right here. Because if you do not pronounce it the, the right way, it sounds like you're if you're saying her, like her. So this one, it has a trick. Tiene como un truco aquí. Ustedes abren su boca como que van a decir e. I'm sorry, a, pero dicen e. Heard. Heard. Okay, so we heard. So when you pronounce it, cuando lo pronuncian, no suena como hair, okay? Heard, okay? Heard. That's the way we do it. So Elizabeth, thank you very much. Let's let's see. Uh, teacher, si tengo una pregunta. Yes, go ahead. I have a question. Eh, es, en la pronunciación, estoy como un poco... En la palabra teach, es, aquí dice touch. Así es. Touch. No, that's let me let me grab it now. Talk. Talk. Ah, es que es, es que en las otras logré comprender que sí terminaba en T, pero en la primera me pareció escuchar como que era en ajá, en che, por eso, esa era mi pregunta, que por qué en las otras lograba terminaba con T y en la primera terminaba con CH. Esa era mi pregunta nada más. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. No problem. Yeah. All right, someone else would like to participate or to try to say the words? Teach. Huh? No. Well, in that case, let me choose someone. Let me see the Maris Vega. I would like to listen to you. Let's go. Okay, teacher. Teach, talk, bring. Mm, I'll, I'll, Siempre escucho ese toad ahí. No tiene que ver ningún sonidito de una U. So it's like tot, like O. Oh, o, oh, tot. Okay. No, okay, let's Tot. Go here. Uh -huh. Teach, tot, bring, brought, leave, left, hear, heard, buy, bought. Excellent. Thank you very much for that. Teacher, teacher, I have a question. Go ahead. In the last class, you said me, G plus H sound like F. G plus H. G and H uh -huh. sound like F. Okay, let's, let's, let's be clear that in English, as any other language, there's exceptions. And uh, sometimes we, we have to learn those exceptions such as this one. Cause uh, I remember that I also told you last time that when we have a TH, it will sound like a Z of the Spanish, right? I remember I told you that. But of course, there's some other exceptions in which TH as GH won't sound the same way because those are exceptions that we have. So that, uh, what I told you last time, that's true, but in this case, that's an exception. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, any other question that someone might, might have at this moment? Okay, Rosemary, let me listen to you, Rosemary. Teach, touch, bring, brought. Bring. Leave, bring, brought. Leave, lift. Left. 
lead left. Few hair. Okay. By boat. Okay. So, okay, I think that we're pretty clear on that one. So here we just have one example that says Celia bought a new cell phone last weekend. Okay, it's just uh just referring to one of the verbs that we saw here. Okay, so as you can see in the regular verbs, we have a, a difference. We uh the irregular verbs, they have a very different way of the regular verbs. Why? The regular verbs are very easy. Why? Because we just add ed at the end and that's it. We just have to make the right pronunciation to make it clear. But in these ones, the irregular verbs, they have their own way. So sometimes what we have to do is a matter just to learn them and to try to memorize them or if not memorize them, we have to try to use them as much as possible so we can get used to the language and used to make the right pronunciation of those. Now, let's move on. And let's see how do we make negative sentences in the simple. We use did not or didn't. Did not or didn't plus we have that's the base form of the verb. Be careful with these guys because one of the most common mistakes when you're learning English is that when you make the negative, you think that you have to put the verb in the past. But for the negative sentences, as long as you have the auxiliary, which in this case, the auxiliary is going to be div, Automatically, when you put the verb in the base form, automatically the auxiliary will put that on past tense. I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say. Do we understand, guys? Do, did you understand what I said? Yes. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yes, so teacher. I, I will repeat it like, okay, let me see. If you understand, let me, let me try to check that. If I have the sentence, I me, I will write it on the chat so you can all take a look. Okay, I need everyone to make that sentence that I wrote on the chat negative, please. We are 14 on the call, so I will need 14 answers. Hmm. Well, Patricia, you gave me another example in what I wanted. It was that the sentence that I gave you, the same sentence, put it on negative. Okay, thank you very much, Maximo. Very good. Vilma, thank you very much. Fatima, thank you very much.
What about the other ones? I just have, well, let me see, one, two, three. And we are 15 right now. So Elizabeth, okay, I have the Maris too. Nancy, okay. Well, what about the other ones? Are you still there? Are you doing something else or what's going on? Well, I don't know if the other ones like really understood what, what we were saying or not, but let me ask you, it was, was it understandable? Did you understand? Do you want me to clarify something? Do you want me to repeat something again? So we don't have any, any inconvenience like moving on. Well, all right. So is there any questions so far, guys? So far, so good? I think that is pretty clear that every single time that you have a negative form because of the auxiliary, we have the auxiliary div. So when we make the negative, we are going to put the verb in the base form, okay? Why? Because the auxiliary will put it automatically on past. So we have the example right here. I went to work yesterday. I didn't go, you see here, the base form of the, or the infinitive of the verb went. Why did I put it here on the infinitive? Because I have the auxiliary here, which is putting that automatically in, in past. So I'm trying to say the same thing, but just in a negative sense, okay? So I went to work yesterday. I didn't go to work yesterday because I was sick. So uh, no questions so far? No, teacher. Cool, so let's move on. Teacher. Yes. En español, por favor. Well, well what part? What, what part? I mean, this part? Es que, es que bueno, eh, yo recuerdo que en el módulo anterior, creo que fue, mm -hmm. este, cuando va la palabra did, el auxiliar did, mm -hmm. el verbo no cambia. Eso yeah. acaba de decir. Yeah, the same thing, lo mismo. Ajá, entonces, entonces yo lo iba a poner así con el verbo normal, así como usted lo escribió, solamente le iba, lo iba a cambiar a negativo, pero cuando vi que pusieron el, el, cambiaron el verbo y usted dijo que estaba bien, entonces dije, pues bueno, entonces sí, quizás había que cambiar el verbo. <laughs> oh, so, um, I, I don't know if, for, no, no sé si entendí bien tu pregunta, tu pregunta era si cambiábamos el verbo eh, basado en la oración que yo puse. Is that, uh -huh. No, in that case, si lo vamos a hacer negativo, si sí cambia el verbo. ¿Por qué? Vamos a poner el verbo en su forma original o en su forma presente. Por uh -huh. ya en ese caso, el auxiliar did automáticamente me pone al verbo en pasado. Entonces yo ya no necesito poner el verbo en pasado para referirme al pasado porque el auxiliar me lo está poniendo en pasado. Entonces yo pongo el verbo sí. en forma original. Ah, oh, ya. Entonces el, el verbo era el que estaba en pasado en la pregunta que usted puso. Yes, el verbo okay. Era okay. en okay. pasado. ¿Dónde okay. sí. uh -huh. estaba yo? Es que todavía los verbos me... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's difficult. Okay, I understand that there's a lot of verbs. Hay demasiados verbos Muchos verbos que no utilizamos, muchos verbos que utilizamos every single day. So I understand that there's a variety of things that we have to learn. 
but okay. other ones. Is is it Thanks. clear? You're welcome. Uh, is it clear for the other ones? For the rest of you, it's clear. So if it is clear, I will move on to the next part. Okay. So it's very important, guys, that you have to remember that for the verb be, it's something different. We have exceptions with the verb be. Why? Alguien puede decirme por qué el verbo be es diferente. Can someone tell me that? Why the verb be is different in past? Nobody? Well, okay. So uh, the verb be, it's because uh, the verb be has its own form in past tense. What is the past form of the verb be? Was. Was and were. Was and were. Was and were. Okay. So that's the past form of the verb be. So we never ever, never, ever have to use the auxiliary did. Nunca vamos a utilizar el auxiliar did con el verbo to be when we want to make a negative. What is the negative form of the verb be in past? Can someone tell me? Was where plus the word not. You see, we can say was not or were not, or we can make the contraction and we can say wasn't and weren't. So either one of them. So please never ever make or use did or didn't when you're referring to the verb be because they have their own form in the past. Was not, were not, wasn't, weren't. Either one of them, okay? So is there any questions so far? If there's no questions, we are going to move on to the speaking practice so we can start practice our speaking, okay? No questions at all? Not sure. Cool, so let's move on to the speaking practice. Take a screenshot of this part so we can move on uh, in uh, practice, okay? These are the three conversations and we are 15. We are going to form three groups and five people. So two people will read the first conversation, then two the second one and two the third one. So you will decide who is going to be first one, okay? So when you, if you are ready, so let, let's move on to the next one. Can I move on? Can I move to the next one? Yes, teacher. I did. Cool. So let's see. That's number two. And this is number three. Okay. So I think that. You ready to take a screenshot? So let me stop sharing that and let's go to the breakout rooms to work and what we have to do, okay? Let me see. Okay. Okay, so everybody, please join your rooms and let's try to participate. I will be checking all of you if you are participating there, okay? What happened with you two guys? 
You had problems connecting with your groups. Rosemary, Nancy. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Estoy con una, con una tarea del niño también, perdón, por eso no, no me conecta. Yeah, okay, no problem. Estoy, con, estoy aquí con unas tareas que mañana tienen examen y estoy con dos cosas. Okay, no problem. Así que estoy escuchando, no estoy, no estoy muy así en esto, nada más, perdón. Okay, no problem. So, Rosemary, what about in your case? Well, Screen, uh, share screen, ahí está la pantalla. Voy a compartir la primera. Yo. Vamos a... Ok. Sí. Va, esta es la primera. Ya. Voy. Ah, ok. Sí, esa la, esa la tengo yo. Va, eh, ¿por qué no empezamos con esta? Trabajar y luego... Bueno, entonces... Y luego comparte la segunda porque yo solo esta alcancé a tomar. Va, claro. eh, ¿quién, ¿quién lee primero? Va, pero este es solo claro, para claro. la pronunciación. Sí, sí. Ajá. Bueno, dice, what did you do yesterday? Eh, nothing much I uh, no, use. Hagamos los dos grupos. Ahí. Rosemary, are you having any problem connecting with your... Okay, she went to her group. Staff. Staff. In short, staff. <clears throat> La conversación tres. Uh -huh. hmm? What do you mean? Short. Teacher, you are here. Yes. Have what is the meaning? Of <laughs> what is the meaning of short stuff? Where is that? Stuff it. Short stuff it. Stuff. Short, short stuff. Cor corto de personal. Yeah, exactly. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Cort, corto thank de you personal. Mm -hmm. Okay, the, the second one. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Las puedes compartir. Ahora. Ok. Nothing much. I just start at home and clean the house. Oh, boring. Yeah, it was. And you? What did you do? I drove. To the mountains and when, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Eh, Hiking. Ahí donde Hiking. Oh, okay. Hiking. I drove to the mountains. I went hiking. That sounds fun. It was. Had a good time. Seguimos con la dos. Continuamos con la segunda. Okay. Uh, 
eh, cambiamos de actividad o seguimos ahí. La ¿Por otra el tiempo? Sí, la otra. Definitivo. Continuemos la otra, mejor si no nos vamos a perder. Usted con la conversación. Ay, ya no llaman. No, todavía no. Ah, solo. Um, ok. Sí. Es, dice: What did you yesterday? Nothing much. I just stayed at home and cleaning the house. How, how boring. Yeah, I was. And you? What did you do? I drove the mountains and went hiking. Hiking. Hiking, okay. That sounds fun. It was, I had a great time. Okay, ahora la dos. Comenzaría usted, ¿verdad? No, usted. Did you do any? Does it call? Okay. Sería llamar. Call, llamar. Uh -huh. Surprise es sorprender. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Es adivinar. adivinar. Arrive es llegar. Llegar, llegar. Uh -huh. Dance uh -huh. es bailar. bailar. Uh -huh. Y play, jugar. Jugar. Uh -huh. Sí. Finish it. Teacher. No, nos alcanzó el tiempo. <laughs> okay, so did you see the red letters there that it says then add the past form to write whether it is regular or irregular? In Repeat, what, please. in what, in, in, in cual teacher, perdón? In letter C, en la que estaban haciendo. Uh -huh. Match the word with their meaning. Yeah, match the word with the meanings. Pero ahí hay unas otras letritas que dice then. Ay, ah, es que en la captura que tenemos aquí. <ríe> no sé. Um, está a la mitad. Es de ponerlas en pasado, ¿verdad? The, uh -huh. En past and then escribir si es regular or irregular. Ah, eso está fácil. Um, lo que hicimos en la otra. Entonces, con... Okay, so um, did you guys complete the exercises? Did you finish them all or no? No. Nosotros no. solo hicimos la conversación. Just a conversation. Okay, so if you didn't complete them or if you didn't complete all the exercises, that will be something just for you to practice, okay? It's not a homework, nothing like that. It's just for you to practice. One thing that I really want to tell you is that to keep working on the platform, if you have any question regarding to any exercise or something like that, uh, feel free to ask, okay? I just want to say thank you because I have been watching that 
you have been helping each other in the WhatsApp group. That's something really nice, okay? If you already finished something and you want to help your classmates, that's very important, okay? So that's gonna be all for today, guys. Thank you so much for coming to the class and I hope to see you guys tomorrow at the same time by the same channel, okay? So hope you have a good night. Good Thank night. you, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.